To understand optical activity, let's look back at that thing we noticed before, that you can make linear light from a combination of right circular polarized light and left circular polarized light, right? So RCP plus LCP makes linear. And we know that because if we plotted, we could get a little RCP going. Remember, that's coming at us, right? And get a little LCP going the other way. Let's do it at the same time, kind of like that. And we know that if we put those together, um, it will kind of like that. Right? That's RCP and LCP. And if we do the superposition of those two, we just think, well, it's going this way and this way and this way and this way, right? It's a linear light. So here's the interesting part, is that you can also have a refractive index uh, do for circular light. In addition to having anisotropy where you have in uh, horizontal and in vertical, you can actually have an in for RCP and an in for LCP. It shows up when you get chiral molecular structures. We'll worry about that later. But for now, just think it is actually true that you can have what we would call NL. Let's see, so this would experience N, and it's usually drawn with a script little R, and this would experience N with a script little L like that. And they can become anisotropic. Okay, so let's look. So now what I'm going to do is the same cartoon, we're going to have NL greater than NR. Well, that means is the phase velocity will be higher for NL than it will for NR. We're just talking about the real part, the real part of the, the two indices for the different rotations. So let's see what that looks like. Now if we let NL be greater than NR, well now think about it, as they start to spin, one spinning faster than the other, so the linear version of this light, if we add them, is going around, see? So when you add two circulars, you get linear, and if you add them with a slightly different phase velocity, you get um, rotating linear. So as the light goes through the material, this is exactly what was happening to the light. You just have to imagine it as uh, two kinds of circularly polarized light at the same time. So what we've seen here is that optical activity equals circular circular by refringence. Or you could also call it rotary dispersion is the other name. So not quite as commonly used as a wave plate, but it is a real phenomenon that exists in materials.